What's up gamers? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Sharingan effect in your video editor of choosing. Now this isn't going to work in every video editor. If you have something like Premiere Pro or HitFilm, which is what I'm using today, it's going to work. If it's anywhere that's slightly advanced, Sony Vegas, any of that kind of video editor, then it's going to work. But if you're using something where all you can do is basic cuts, then it's not gonna work. So open up your video editor, and this is basically what I'm gonna show you how to do today. A little laggy, but it's not too bad. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is import our clip. I already have the clip, so don't have to import it. Now you're gonna make it a composite shot. Hit okay. And we're just going to rename this face. My bad, I imported the wrong video. So we're going to be using this video. It's basically a bunch of stock photos of people opening their eyes. And I believe, eh, we'll just use this one. This one right here. Okay, so. First thing we're gonna wanna do is rename this. Let's just name it to face, that works. And import our Sharingan. So you can download any Sharingan from the web of your choosing, I'm gonna be using this. Just make sure that the background is transparent. So make sure it's not white or black around the edges. It's just a perfect circle. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is rename this Sharingan. Okay. Now we're just going to make sure we're just going to make it so you can't see it right now. All right. Now, since this is a simple and easy tutorial, he's not, we're not using a clip where he's going to blink. And I recommend you make sure your act your actors aren't blinking so much or else that's just going to make your life awful. And you'll see why in just a moment. So what we're going to do now is go to tracks. It'll create this little thing. Expand it. Now when you move this, make sure you don't grab on the green part because that doesn't really move the whole thing. You're going to be grabbing on this red part right here. Okay, that should be good enough. And now we're just going to track forward. So what it's doing is tracking the eye perfectly for us. So the Sharingan matches up. Okay, we can pause that because now it's tracking more of the video than we need. So what we're going to do now is new layer point. So when you make that new point, you can see that everything goes black. Now that's because we're on the layer tap. Just Go back over to viewer and as you can see our eye is back. So now what we're going to do is go back to your tracking point, click on this layer icon and go to new point and hit apply. Okay, so now we don't need to mess with that anymore. So now this new point is what is being tracked. And what we're going to do is parent this Sharingan to the new point. Okay, and now the Sharingan moves with the eye. So now we just need to make it so the Sharingan fits on the eye. So just go in and rescale it so it fits perfectly on your eye. Now when you do this, I recommend showing a little bit of the edges of the eye. You'll see why in a second. I just think it, it'll look more realistic once we're done. So now that we have everything sized, what we can do now is cut out the top part here and the bottom part here. Now this is the most tedious part. It's gonna take the longest, but I'm gonna have to do it. So we're gonna take this tool, the freehand mask tool, and just cut around the edges. I almost forgot to mention, before you do that, make sure you turn down the opacity so you can see exactly what you're doing. 
Okay, so now that we're finished that, as you can see, when we turn back the opacity, that's what we have so far. So to make this look better, we don't want these edges so rough. So we're gonna go to shape on the mask and turn the feather up ever so slightly. So it looks like it fits more. Now, if it goes past, as you can see here, it doesn't look as realistic. So what we can do is mess with the expansion. I recommend you make it just, just, just showing this a little bit. See, just showing the edges a little bit. And there's some tiny mistakes here. So if you make a, if you made a mistake in that, you can just adjust it like so. Okay, so now this is what we have. Now, as you can see, that doesn't look too good. And I do not know why it does that at the end, but we can just cut that out. But now I'm gonna show you what to do as this person is moving around. So to fix this sizing issue, which is gonna be quite a pain in the neck, what we're gonna have to do is resize this. So we're gonna set a keyframe and every time this goes out of bounds, what we're gonna do is resize it and make sure everything lines up. So turn down your opacity and then get to work. Okay, so once we're done, we have this. Looks good enough. So what we have to do now is every time he blinks, and this is, well, half, kind of half blinks, and this is what you're gonna have to do, similar to this if he actually did blink. But every time his eyelids go down, we're gonna have to resize this and make sure it gets smaller. So let's do that. Make sure you go back into mask. And from here, we're going to key the expansion. And you might have to slightly move the Sharingan if too much is showing like that. So in a case like this, I would just make it go up. Either hit enter or make it go up by one point. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. So click on this and hit enter. And then when you go to make your new key, it won't start from here and then shrink. It'll start from here and shrink. So make sure you keep that in mind. So after a while of contemplating suicide and your life decisions, you finally have something like this. Good enough. So now we're gonna make this Sharingan look less cartoony. So to do that, we're gonna go to blend and just cycle through the blend modes, see which one looks the best in your opinion. It all depends on the eye. I found out some eyes look better with some blend modes and others look better with some eyes. Darker eyes I'd consider something like color dodge, but 
as you can see, this eye is lighter. So, in my opinion, it would look best if you picked a darker darker tone. Actually, I think overlay looks the best in this situation. So this is what we have. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Vignette, if that's how you say it. And we're just gonna make this sort of give the Sharingan more depth. Okay, that's good enough. So as you can see, our Sharingan is looking quite good so far, but it's not good enough. You can tell there's something off. And that is the fact that it's too clear. See, with VFX, you can't just keep the effect as clear as it can be. You need to make it as blurry as the image. See how this eye is more blurry than the Sharingan? Well, we need to make it, we need to make sure the Sharingan matches. So it looks like everything belongs together. So just take a blur effect, put it on your Sharingan, and we're gonna mess with the blurriness until it looks exactly like the eye. My opinion in this case, this setting, the default setting looked good enough. It almost exactly matches the film. And you can really tell when you zoom out more often than not, whether it's blurry enough. So you could be done here and most of you probably would, but if you want to take this a step further, you could give it a little glow effect. And just to mention, as you can see down here, it's not perfect. So if it's not perfect during the video, what you can do, because you'll, you'll notice once you zoom out that there's more problems what you can do is just edit it around. Like from here, around here, it's good. And then around here, you can see more of that. So to fix that, you can just change up the expansion and position. Okay, so that's good enough. So next thing we're gonna do is make the Sharingan more shiny. Again, you don't have to do this. It all depends on the look of your film, but I just need to show you how to do it in case you're curious. So we're gonna rename this Shine. And you're going to make sure that this is either completely black or transparent. It's transparent and it has some black edges. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to make the blend mode add. And now we're going to add a flare. Put this light flare on the shine. And we're gonna change this, bring down the intensity and the scale. We're not gonna overkill, we're just gonna have it as a slight glow. Now you can cycle through these, see which one you like best. But in my opinion, the best looking glow is the laser dot. I think that fits the Sharingan the most. So, this is not lined up correctly. So in order to do that, we're gonna parent it to the new point. 
and now everything lines up. So, because in our film he doesn't blink, that's, pro that's likely not going to be the same for you. He's likely going to be blinking. So, in order to make him uh, the shine match up with the blink, go to Transform, Opacity, and what you would do is you would just key the opacity down. Say he starts blinking at this point. You're going to bring down the opacity, right? And obviously you'd rescale the Sharingan to match up with the blinking. And then once he opens his eyes again, you'd bring back up the opacity. So this is the final video. All right, if you guys want me to make any more tutorials, make sure you put it down in the comments below. Make sure you give the video a like for gaming and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Oh, and don't forget to export. Pretty important part. <laughs>